Good afternoon all and uh, just a quick update on the Dream Birthday flashing lights and sound kit. Uh, if you remember when I switched it on it just made this sort of hideous whining oscillation. Well I've noticed if I moisten my finger and put it on the transistor it bursts into life. Now if I take the uh, little label off it's really loud. Interestingly, I'll put half on. Every time I put my finger on it, it kind of reboots the chip. So I think what's happening is this chip is being held in a reset state. And I've got a feeling I know why. So here's the circuit diagram uh, printed out from the eBay page. Now this transistor here, the 1815, which drives the speaker, now we know that this is just um, a speaker, not an oscillator now, there's no base resistor, which I find very strange because the emitter's connected hard to ground. The collector is uh, connected through the speaker to VCC. This is VCC here. This chip is likely to be a CMOS chip, in which case it has a very low impedance output and no base resistor. Now when I was putting my finger on the transistor, I was going across base to collector, I think I was probably lifting the base just a little bit, enough that this chip could burst into life. But I don't really think that's the solution. I think the answer is to put in a base resistor. You want to limit the current flowing out of the music chip through the base of the transistor and through the emitter, through the base emitter junction, which is effectively just a diode, and down to ground. There's going to be a lot of current flow through there without a base resistor. So I'm going to put one in and I'm going to go for something like, I don't know, 10k. I've got some 10k resistors to hand. So I'm just going to cut the base leg. Uh, I might even cut the track on the PCB. I'll really go for this and stick a 10k resistor in there and see if that fixes the problem. So this is the track I need to cut. It's the output of the music module, this center pin here, through this thin track running to the base of the transistor. Uh, the base seems to be on the outer pin here. So I'm just going to cut that and then solder a 10k resistor from that solder pad to this solder pad and see what that does. So let's cut that track, which is a bit tricky when some components are on the board and I can't put any pressure on it but let's just see if I can lift a bit of that PCB track out yeah that seems to have worked right I think that's cut if I shine the light through it yes you can see that that's no longer linked right let's get a 10k resistor so I just don't get why they designed this circuit with no current limiting in the base of the transistor that's just bizarre putting such a massive current from the output of that music chip through the base emitter junction of the transistor to ground. It's just holding the uh, music chip in reset. Really weird. Right, there's my 10K resistor, uh, brown, black, orange, from music chip output to transistor base. Let's find my little power bank. And that does this. which is fine. Oh, that top note's a bit flat, isn't it? Let's have it louder. <laughs> right, I think that's enough of that. But that's now working. Really strange that the circuit was designed in that way. So, the remainder of the uh, kit build, when I finally come to do it, and I might do this uh, actually on my birthday in February. That'd be quite nice, wouldn't it? And then I can wish myself happy birthday. But for the moment, that seems to have fixed the uh, problem with the music chip being held in reset. So, uh, cheerio.